Hi, beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're talking about a new release from Lethal Cosmetics this is the haze plush lip cream it's currently available this formula comes in nine different shades these lipsticks are priced at 13 US dollars a piece lethal cosmetics is completely cruelty free and vegan so to all of my cruelty free and vegan friends you never have to worry about shopping at lethal all of their products are made for you. These lipsticks have a soft matte finish. I would say they're like a medium buildable coverage, so you could probably wear them more sheared out or kind of blended out like an ombre lip type of look. I prefer to wear mine more built up and more opaque, so that's what my swatches are gonna look like. These also mix well together, so if you have two, you can either do, like I said, like an ombre lip, that popsicle lip, or you can even customize your color by mixing two colors together. It's always fun to be a makeup mad scientist. These do have a longer wear time. They're not completely transfer proof, but I would say they're like smudge resistant. Regular wear, even just kind of sipping on my drink here, I don't have a lot of problem. They don't seem to come off, transfer, fade a lot. Definitely eating, smooching, high lip contact type of activities, these are not gonna be completely transfer proof. So kind of somewhere in the middle all kinds of ways. The finish is sort of between a satin and a matte. The coverage is between a blurred blotted lip and a liquid lipstick. And the wear time is definitely more than your average just swipe on lipstick, but not as budge proof as some of these really hardcore liquid lips out here. I wanna show you some close-ups and lip swatches of all nine shades. Lethal Cosmetics was kind enough to send the line over to me to share with you. So I wanna make sure you see what these look like actually on the lips. And then I'll wrap up all my thoughts at the end. Packaging wise, these are pretty straightforward. All of the liquid lipsticks come in the same silver metallic outer box. And then the lipsticks themselves are a small square container. The Lethal branding is very minimal, low-key as usual. Each shade is labeled with a sticker name on the bottom. And then these have a small, slightly slanted, very precision applicator type of doe foot. These do have a sweet chocolatey vanilla scent to them, but it's not very overpowering. Now, before I get to the lip swatches, I want to show you how I used this shade Stratosphere as a liquid blush. I saw this on either the Lethal TikTok or an Instagram reel that Lethal Cosmetics themselves made, which is where I got the idea to apply it this way. And I do think it looks absolutely beautiful on the cheeks. It was super easy to blend out. I was afraid that it might be a little bit tough to blend out or it might stain like where I put the initial little dots. But just blending out with my finger made it super easy. As you can see, I was already wearing makeup. I was already wearing concealer, powder, and I was wearing a little bit of cheek products already. And this went on top so nicely. It didn't really disrupt my makeup. I think it looks really natural. I love this idea and I absolutely will be wearing this as a double duty product from now on. I'm going to show you the lip swatches now of all nine shades. I like all nine shades. I like that there's this cool toned option here called Vapor. Definitely lacking cool tone lip products just in the market in general. And I like how a lot of the lighter neutrals like this one Airwave really are a very neutral undertone as well. It's going to suit a lot of people and I think a lot of people are looking for that. Of course, we do have a warmer toned nude here too. And these do tend to dominate most of the market, but it seems like there's a wide variety of undertones, especially in those nudie shades. And then of course we get a couple classic brighter colors like this orangey red shade. And then we have Stratosphere, which is a sort of mid-tone coral. And that's the one that I'm wearing on my cheeks as well. I love this monochromatic look. 
Next, we have a true red. This one's called Leeward, and this is going to be a very universally flattering shade. I think a lot of people are going to love this red. Now we have a cool toned pink. This one's called Tailwind. It's like a mauvey pink, and I just think it's so pretty. This would look beautiful with a cool toned glam eye look. And lastly, we have Zephyr. This is a bright, true purple. This one was the one I struggled the most with application wise, but I do like the idea of a really bold purple lip color with some lip liner. I feel like this could be a lot more successful. I also have been lip swatching before that, so it does kind of mess up the surface of my lips a little bit. So keep that in mind. You may have a better experience with the Zephyr than I did. I also want to make sure you get close-ups of these swatched together on the arm. That way you can see the difference in tone and undertone and really just get a better feel for how these colors look in comparison to one another. I know sometimes it's hard to tell when they're done in individual lip swatches, so I like to do both. That way you can get as much information as possible. As usual, the darkest color is the one that's the most difficult to get completely even and completely opaque. It also doesn't help that it's the last one I swatched, so my lips are already kind of wrecked after swatching all of these. I'm wearing the shade Ethereal right now, and this is so close to the natural color of my lips that I keep looking at myself in the mirror or in the viewfinder and forgetting that I actually have lip product on. It's also a testament to how comfortable these are. I do want to show you a quick little kiss test on the back of my hand so you can see how these actually transfer. This may not be the epitome of scientific experimental method, but I think it does the trick. Not so much that my lips are wrecked, but there's definitely some transfer there. Overall, I think they did a great job on this range of colors for just nine shades. There's definitely a lot to offer here. I like that they went for it with this really deep, true purple. It's definitely something really different. And I like that all of the more nudie shades are very true neutral brown. And the fact that we got a really cool tone shade as well. I think a lot of people are looking for those type of shades and missing them in their collections. Personally, my favorite shade is this one called Leeward. It's such a beautiful warm brick tone and I just really like colors like that. I think they're really flattering on myself and a lot of different styles and skin tones. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about these new lipsticks. Are you interested in this formula? Which shades are your favorites? I always love to hear what you think about things too so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Please don't spill everywhere. These lipsticks, well, well, it's kind of hard to tell if not for the matte. I'm, this is actually fine. I'm actually fine. Now's the time when I want to hear <laughs> Okay, it's just going to be loud. It's just the way that it is. Between the fact that it's now warm outside, we're having a bunch of work done inside and outside, and it's just... That's the season of life I'm in right now. I'm doing my best to accept it. I'm sorry if it disrupts the video. I'm just doing what I can. I live here, I work here, I can never escape it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll most likely all be worth it, right? Right? Okay, I'm fine. Okay, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching, love your face. Okay, bye.